Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to find the limit if it exists, and if the limit does not exist, explain why. And we have the limit as x approaches negative x of 2x plus 12 over the absolute value of x plus 6. So we have this absolute value, and it's in the denominator, so we have to worry about it being equal to 0. We have to consider values being inside the absolute value being positive or negative. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the limit as x approaches negative 6 from the left of 2x plus 12 over the absolute value of x plus 6, and the limit as x approaches negative 6 from the right of 2x plus 12 over the absolute value of x plus 6. If we're approaching from the left, that means we have values that are slightly less than negative 6. So think about it as negative 6.0000001, right? If we're plugging values like that into this, if we're adding 6 to that number, it's going to be very, very close to 0, but it's going to be negative. And if you're taking the absolute value of a value y, if y is less than 0, this is equal to negative y, right? It's why the absolute value of negative 4 isn't itself, it's negative negative 4 or 4, right? We just normally think of this as just becoming positive, but really we're multiplying it by negative 1. So here, this is equal to 2x plus 12 times negative x plus 6. Meanwhile, here, these are values slightly greater than negative 6, which again, for negative numbers might not be the most obvious, but that's like a negative 5.9999999 and so on. So if we add 6 to that number, it's going to be slightly greater than 0. Therefore, and sorry, I should specify that this is still a limit. We have the limit as x approaches negative 6 from the right of 2x plus 12 over positive x plus 6. These are positive numbers, so absolute value of 4 is just 4. And so if we take these two fractions, we're basically doing the same thing to them. right? This is the limit as x approaches negative 6 from the left of 2 times, pulling out a 2 up here, x plus 6, over negative x plus 6. And here, this is the limit as x approaches 6, or sorry, negative 6 from the right, of 2 times x plus 6 over positive x plus 6. And in both situations, this just cancels. So this is just 2, and this is 2 divided by negative 1, right? And obviously, we don't write the 1 typically, but 2 divided by negative 1 is negative 2. Therefore, the limit as x approaches negative 6 from the left does not equal the limit as x approaches negative 6 from the right, right, because negative 2 does not equal 2. Therefore, the limit as x approaches negative 6, dNe, does not exist.